So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your CDC called Multi-SIM 12.0. To fit all five on our design space, right click on the design space and change your sheet size to C. And we're going to have it landscape just so we can fit it all on one sheet. Most of the time we'll use A. So the first thing we're going to start out with is we're going to do number one which is just a basic series circuit. So I'm gonna bring in some sources. I click in here, if you just hover over any of the icons, it'll tell you what they are. We're gonna do DC power. We're gonna bring in ground, right below that. And then we're gonna bring in some resistors. So in your groups, you gotta bring that down to um, basics. Are right there and we want a 220 so the easiest way to do this is just to type in where your component is just type 220 I want the 220 not the M or the K the next one I want is 470 all right so I want to rotate this so I'm going to right click and rotate clockwise. With resistors, it doesn't matter if they're rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. So now I'm just connecting up by clicking on the ends and then drawing over and down. I'm gonna connect my ground to my power source. Bring it down a little bit and across. All right. So I've got 12, vo 12 volts, 220 ohms, 470 ohms. Now I want to add my um, voltmeters, my amp meters. I can do that by clicking here where it says place indicators. You can also go to place and components. So I want to find my indicators down in my groups. The first thing I'm going to add is an amp meter, and I want the amp meter H positive and negative. And the next thing I want is a voltmeter, and you saw it just kind of jump right to it. I want positive and negative for this top one, and I want another one that's vertical, positive and negative. Close. And now with the amp meter, I'm just going to drag it down and put it right on top of the red line. If I move it and the red line moves, then we're good. Now let's play connect the dots. So I'm going to draw it over and then put click on the red line. That red dot represents a junction where it connects. Do the same thing over here. Same thing over there, and uh, just one more thing, I'm just going to hit my text box, and I'm going to call this number one, and let's create another text box, just going to put it right here in the middle of our page, I'm going to type our first and last name, don't actually type that, please type your first and your last name, put today's date. check and see if we're getting the right readings, hit play, give it a second, and we've got this, we've got this. If we add our volts together, we should get something very close to 12. All right, to do any more work, we need to stop the simulation. So you can stop it here, or you can stop it right here. And now we're going to do number two. Find the DC power in the ground under the sources and find the resistors under the basic group. All right, let's add some indicators. We're gonna start with an ammeter. When you use your voltmeters, make sure you have the positive and the negative going in the right direction. 
just play connect the dots. Now, we zoom in, we can see a red line. We don't want any red lines going underneath it. We want it, the current to flow right through it. And if we press play, we should be getting some good numbers there. However, we forgot on number two that it is not 12 volts, it is nine volts. So, easy fix, just double click. And right here, just change the 12 to a nine. Hit okay. Play it again. And now you can see your differences. And by the way, the way I'm zooming in and out is just rolling the mouse, very similar to Inventor. Just go ahead and give number three a try all by yourself. And here we go, Kirchhoff's Law says this plus this plus this plus this equals this, which is very close to this. All right, just right here in this empty spot, we're gonna do the first parallel circuit, and then I'm gonna let you do number five on your own. So, let's bring in some power. And a ground. And three resistors. So we're gonna drop down on the groups. Basic resistors, first resistor is 8.2K. The second one is 6.8 thousand. And the third one is 4.7 thousand. If you don't see a dot, chances are you're not connected. All right, so very similar to how we did the ones over here, we're gonna add some uh, ammeters and voltmeters. This time we want them vertical. I'm gonna connect this ammeter, bring it down, and then zoom it in by rolling and clicking the red line that already existed, just hitting delete on my keyboard. Hit play. You can see, we got the right numbers. Go ahead and give number five a try all by yourself. 